Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to the Crafty Maven Getaway. This is going to be Sketch It where I use page maps, this sketch, and it's from the November 2018 set. So I am not in my typical normal area. I am at a friend's house scrapbooking and I videotaped all of my layouts. And that is the cool thing about having scrappy friends that are semi-close. You're able to do this. So I went through her sketches and that's how I found the page maps from November 2018 link. And that is the sketch that I am using. And I was also there for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club online club that was going on at the same time. And I did one of the challenge. I did a little bit of it. It needed some tone on tones, some hearts. Um, some florals and a couple other things with it and I just was like you know what this is going to be a lot of fun to do and I got out my pink fresh studio collection the everyday musings and I'm just trying to use it up and I felt that this sketch was perfect for this it had a couple of pattern papers a scallop that I spray painted with um a green color I think it was called evergreen a dune I am not sure what company it's from I know that it's not my normal sh um, shimmers paints it's one that scrapping Amy has that I used in her house because I don't bring my mixed media I just use what she has in her in her stash and so I'm just putting everything together now this sketch is actually really nice and easy to use and I just kind of flip back and forth with it and I decided to take this big old piece of paper and make it even because that chipboard is a little bit thicker than what I wanted and it was going to do a, it was going to like bow the product of this paper. So I made sure that I got it all flat. And then I place some of it on there as well. And I am talking to... I'm just letting, like, I'm letting you know that if you see every once in a while where I just kind of stop, it's me talking to Amy and our friend Dolly as well, just to let you know. So I am just going through all of this and making sure that it stays um, flat across the board because that mixed media piece that I did with the scalloped made the white paper that I put down just a little bit bowed so by putting a little extra foam on both sets it made the picture flat so now i am going to be tinking and dinking all the way through this you will see me change out all of these processes over and everywhere else and i go through all of it that little box that i have has all of the semi newer collections for pink fresh studio in it and they all match relatively well so you just see me go through everything and some of the sayings that I end up having I'm getting the layout out because I still have all of them sitting out yet because I was like I have to do all these voiceovers and this is like the third one I have done for today I'm trying to catch up all of the videos so now I can film <laughs> again and so some of the sayings that I come up with is love Super love this. Today is the new day. Um, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, but a good amount of it actually is. Today is life documented, happy. So it's just all little bits and bobs from the everyday musings that I used. Obviously, at the end of the video, you will see my still shots. And some of them you will see up close and personal of what they kind of look like and whatnot. And I'm just going through everything. I'm trying to see what all works. And I am just fiddle-daddling around. I cannot believe how much fiddle-daddling I did. I do know off-camera I take some Gel Nouveau drops. And I place them like I would sequence or, and or like splatters. So that works well. If you, I've never used the Nouveau drops. This is the first time that I've used them. Because... Scrapping Amy is huge in the Nuva Drops, so she has quite a bit. And she's been teaching me a lot of how to use them as well. To try to not always just think of sequence mixes, but also to think of those as well. And I did do a pretty good job. I used them just like if I would have used um, sequence mix. Because that was the one thing I didn't bring was a sequence mix. Because I was like, you know what? She has tons of Novo drops, and I was like, I'm going to use those as well. 
So that's pretty much what I was using for that. So other than that, that is pretty much what I've been doing. So while you're seeing me dink and bob and tink and everything else with this sketch, I do follow it to the mostly to the T. The only thing that I don't do that is in the sketch is that they want two photos and instead I do one photo and it's one big four by six photo and really in kind of like in retrospect it is about the same size due to what they wanted so I'm just kind of making sure everything looks good and now I'm starting to put it all down so the photograph it is while I am in Sylvania we went and did I did a ski lift now I am definitely scared of heights however because I've been in Europe for three and a half years, almost three and a half years, four years, I've kind of gotten over my height factor and have been able to do quite a bit of things that you would have never gotten me on if I would have never went over to Europe. And it's because I challenged myself while I was stationed over there to do things. Now, I will tell you, they have the thing that's called the Highland 157. There ain't no way. I tried, and I turned myself right back around. I couldn't do that. But I've been able to get across my fear quite a bit and been able to do things. So this cable car that took you up to the ski lift was shaky and just, it was just oh my gosh it got my heart pumping and everything and the the family that I went with I told them that I am scared of heights but because they wanted to be able to take they wanted to be able to go into the mountains in Sylvania in where Lake Bled was at I said yes I will come along with you have no worries I will you know I'll watch your son while you go do this and I said, yes, I'm scared of heights. However, as long as you don't mind helping me help your son help you, you can help me along the process. Because I said I didn't want to not go along for them not to be able to take their son with, but I didn't want my fear of heights to get in the way of their fun either because the whole point of me being along was to be able to help with their son. And they helped me. Um, the mom was very was very adamant to make sure that I could that she would help me through this because she was scared once too but she got over her fear of heights as well and I was like you know what if she can do it I can do it so that's why I did a lot of the sayings of like super love this um, today is a new day explore never stop little things like that present and perfect um, I did do some books on here that is like love and what is it else? Miracles. It was kind of a miracle that I was able to do this. But really in retrospect, I absolutely love that they took a time out just a little bit to be able to do this as well. To help me as well as to be able to do what they wanted to do while they were in the Alps. We wanted to see the Swiss cows. It was just something that I absolutely loved and it made my day and their day just that little bit more because it made me feel very satisfied that I could be able to do this but let me tell tell you when I got to the bottom of the ground and I was back on land you, you wouldn't believe I, I mean I, I didn't kiss the ground but I could have worshiped the ground because I was like thank golly I'm off that cable train off that cable car and I was down and my feet were touching where I knew wasn't gonna go up so I will say that, but I have gotten over my fear and I really love, I, I can go in choppers now and not have an issue and little things. So places like this really makes me documented. So not only am I sketching it and I used the sketch for this particular layout, it worked out to in my favor too that I was able to document something that made me just get over something as well. So it was all around one of the best photos, one of the best layouts that I've been able to do while I was in Europe. So I've been finishing up a lot of my Europe trips as well, like my small little bits. This was the last one of this particular trip that I did of being in like Bled, so I was able to finish up that trip. And so it's I'm grateful to be able to finish those. That's what I'm loving about getting these 
the year. This year is to be able to be determined to get things done. And so now I'm just now working on figuring out what else I need to do. The still shots are coming up. Here are her Nuva drops. All of those are her Nuva drops. And I had to go through it and figure out which one I wanted to use. And I'm just kind of figuring out which one. And I asked her if she could get me it. And then pretty much that is what I'm using. So it's the glitter periwinkle nuva drop you can't see them but in the still shots you'll be able to see a few of them but in real life that you get to see them the still shots are coming up make sure that you like and subscribe and go to the facebook group we would love to have you and if you use this sketch um tag us and we will talk to you soon bye